Watch this. Today's windows are a lot different. When shopping, you can buy windows that look good, offer safety, security, and energy efficiency. Did you know that today's glass can block over 60% of the sun's heat while letting in 70% of daylight? Well, today we're at Bayport, Minnesota at Anderson Windows, and we're gonna show you how windows are made and the torture tests that they put them through. Here at Anderson Windows, they make over 200,000 shapes and sizes of windows. And here to tell us how it all goes together is Paul Langraff, who is product manager here at Anderson. Paul, a lot of parts goes into making a window. How does it all start? Well, it all starts here at our 60 plus acre facility. Any kind of window style if you can imagine, we make it here. Whether it's a double on window, casement, or French wood patio door, it all starts here and translates into over four million windows and patio doors a year. Wow, so these pieces actually start out with some milled wood and then they're encased in vinyl? That's correct. What we're doing is adding a little extra vinyl on the end here to weld the sash part together into a completely cased sash for the homeowner. So this is fused together? It's all fused together in vinyl to make it low maintenance inside and out for the homeowner. And the next step is it gets the glass? Next step, it gets the glass. Paul, this looks like this is where the rubber meets the road. I guess the heart of an energy efficient window is the insulated glass unit that goes in it. Now this unit actually goes into a bed of silicone that holds everything in place? Yes, we use the silicone to fix the glass into the sash so it remains nice and square so that the casement will operate smoothly for years to come. So Paul, where do these go from here? Well Steve, next what happens is the sash are hung in the window frame and the hardware is affixed and it finishes up the whole window then the window then goes on down the line, the energy efficient rating labels put on, the Anderson logo labels on, slides in the cart, heads out to the warehouse on its way to the customer. I'm at the engineering test labs here at Anderson where they perform a variety of torture tests on windows. Joining me today is Steve Johnson who's an advanced materials engineer. Steve, what type of tests do you do in here? Steve, we end up testing everything from the various components, the glass, the hardware, all the way up to the full unit testing. We do air and water testing on the full units and even uh, shoot them with a 2x4 missile. But like to simulate a storm. Exactly. The debris that could happen in a, a hurricane. This looks like you're testing a window sill here. Yeah, this is a sill on a double hung window and we're testing the amount of force that it takes to break that window sill. That's a pretty tough test. It's really severe. This one broke at about 1,900 pounds. Steve, this is one of my favorite tests because I hate windows that leak. This is quite a torture test, Steve. This is a water penetration test. We're spraying water onto the window unit. We're also pulling a vacuum on the back side of that to simulate a very heavy wind, so you're getting wind-driven rain. Well, this looks like the gauge that's gonna tell us how this window did. Yeah, Steve, this is actually a vacuum gauge that is calibrated to tell me that we're delivering the equivalent of a 50 mile an hour wind on that window unit over there. How much water? Up to eight inches of rain per hour. Wow, that'd be a pretty tough storm. That's a very tough storm. In addition for testing for wind and rain here at Anderson, they're also testing for energy efficiency, particularly the low E coatings that go on the glass. Now what this device is, this is a hot box that basically has a couple of sun lamps in it. This is a thermal gun that measures temperature. What I can do is take the temperature of this sun lamp, and as you can see, it's 255 degrees. Now what I have in this box is two different types of glazing products or glass windows. One, a standard window, this double pane, and another window with the low E coating. Now let's see how the standard window does. It's about 123 degrees. Now if we take the temperature of the window with the coating, you can see that it's about 103 degrees or a full 20 degrees different. So this is quite a bit cooler. So these low E coatings really work to help keep heat out of your house in the summer and keep heat in in the winter. Now a couple of things to look for when you're buying a window. Check out this NFRC label. Don't buy a window without it. It tells you it has a winter performance, which should be 0.4 or lower, and the summer performance, which should be 0.4 or lower. Steve, this is a pretty awesome test, and I like this test because it simulates how well a window will do in a hurricane or a tornado. Yeah, Steve, this is our air cannon, and we're going to shoot, use this air cannon to shoot a 2x4 at that window down there at the laser spot in three different areas. It shoots the 2x4 at about 50 feet per second, 34 miles an hour. Why 34 miles an hour? Well, a lot of the code bodies in the uh, states that see hurricanes have determined that that's an accurate uh, simulation for this type of uh, debris. Let's give it a try. All right.
Steve, what I like about laminated glass is the two by four hit it, but it did not go through. Exactly, nor did it go through the joint here in the frame. We actually hit it here and twice in the glass. You can see that it hasn't separated and pulled away from the frame. That's pretty important because oftentimes after a hurricane or tornado, what follows the wind is rain, which ruins stuff in your house as well. Exactly. Now this is a laminated glass product. It's two pieces of glass with a piece of plastic between them, and it's that plastic layer that keeps the glass shards from falling in on the inside. And what I like about laminated glass, it also um, provides security. A burglar would have a tough time getting through that even though they broke the glass. Really rough time. Since there are over 6,000 window manufacturers in the United States, you have a lot of choices. That's why it's important to buy your windows from a manufacturer who tests and labels their product. That way you're assured of getting a window that's tested for rain, wind, security, and energy efficiency.